Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Hearthstone. Today we're going to be continuing to check out the Knights of the Frozen Throne expansion, this time with match number two, revisiting the Jade Druid deck before all those nerfs come down the pipeline. Let's go ahead and jump in and enjoy it while it lasts. Malfurion versus Maiev! None can escape my fury. I must protect the wild. All right, so we have a rogue. This could be pretty good for us. Uh, Jade Blossom is some good ramp. Let's see if we can get anything else to help with that. Nope, nothing. That's okay. And we're going first, too, which is a bit rough, but who knows? Maybe we'll draw into a wild growth or something. Nope. Ah, well, we're Jade Druid. We'll be okay. Gotta watch out, though. There's a pretty popular aggressive rogue that's going right now. If he drops pirates turn one, then... Uh, hallucination. It could still be the same deck. I'll be honest, I'm not super familiar with rogues in this expansion because they haven't been insanely effective. They kind of killed rogues' viability, I feel like, when they <laughs> nerfed that uh, quest so hard. Nothing? Come on. It's turn fucking one. Alright, thank you. Jesus Christ. What are you thinking so hard about? God damn. So we got a Wrath for any early aggression. We got a Jade Blossom if he doesn't drop a minion next turn. Or this turn. I have a feeling... I think he's just going to Hero Power, yeah. I was going to say, I think he might be playing a more responsive deck than that, which is actually even better for us, because we can pretty easily overwhelm that kind of a deck, since we have more or less infinite cards with Ultimate Infestation and uh, Nourish in this deck. Sweet, so we're at five mana next turn. Could spreading plague if we needed to, but we won't. Um, actually, we can't really do a whole lot at five mana. We'll probably wrath if he plays a minion and then just uh, hero power. Turn six, though, is where everything starts popping off. Then we can Jade Behemoth into Malfurion the Pestilent, which is going to be a great couple of turns. Oh, it's like a combo questing adventure. It's like some kind of combo rogue. Well, that's fine with me. We're just going to wrath that thing with one damage, and then hero power. Haha! -ha, I even got a card. Jerk. A Jade Idol to boot. Uh, and we have another one in the deck. Oops. We have another one in the deck, so let's go ahead and get him on the board. Maybe he can eat up a uh, backstab here before we have to. Or better yet, something more. Would love to see this rogue use up some of his combo cards before we actually have any minions worth targeting. You know, I was thinking... <clears throat> excuse me. I was thinking Jade Behemoth for next turn, but I'm kind of leaning Aya now if he's just going to keep playing only control. If he plays a minion, I'll Jade Behemoth, but if he just keeps leaving me like this, I'm going to Aya. Buddy, do you have minions in your deck? It's just like, I don't have enough targets. Don't worry, you'll have them soon enough. Yes, we baited him into eviscerating face. Yes, that's fine with me. I don't care about Edwin. Get out of here. Oh, please. You're a rogue. Get serious. Nobody's afraid of you. So... The 8-6 is going to take 5, or almost 5 from that, and then we can finish it off in the next turn or two here. I'm not too worried about it. We can always spreading plague if he wants to keep on uh, dropping minions. This is weird. This is like an interesting large minion combo deck. Uh, I think we will just Malfurion the Pestilent for a whole shitload of armor. Let me say greetings with my new greetings. What? Give me my awesome 1-5 taunts. Actually, you know what's better than 1-5 taunts? 1-2 spiders of poisonous in this situation. Because he can hit me for 13 next turn, which sucks. But if he can't take out these two 1-2s, we can get amazing value here. It's funny, I never go for the spiders, but <laughs> I think he's in a bit of a rough spot. Can he kill both? I got the best deal anywhere. Aw, oh, man. I think he can kill both. What are you gonna prep into? Top deck? What'd you top deck there, son? 
<laughs> you gonna use an eviscerate on my one two? He is. Please. Nah, it's just a backstab. That's no fun. Oh, but he did just uh, prep preparation into backstab. He just blew both of his preparations. Buddy. Oh, and then he'll ping it with his weapon for one. Fair enough. That was a pretty good play. Cannot lie. But I'm just going to suicide my minion and fill up the board here. Oh, I don't even need to suicide him. Alright, let's do this. These need to get shuffled. And we'll hero power for three, and then we can take out the 5 2. I would like to have taken out the, uh, obviously I would have liked to have taken out the 4-4 four, four here, the Gadgets on Auctioneer, but uh, the opportunity did not prevent, present itself quite yet. We can Aya soon, what are we at, 4? Cool, Jade Druids are at 4-4, four, four. so once, if we can just keep holding him off here until we can start getting momentum once the uh, Ultimate Infestation pops off, we'll be fine. Ideally, we could draw like an Innervate next turn so we could play it a bit earlier. I'd like to take out that, uh... Van Cleef, if at all possible. Nourish, not quite what I was looking for. Uh, let's do one of these. How do I want to do this? No, I don't want to do that. I want to do this. Because we're going to Spreading Plague again. And then Van Roll? No, and then we're going to go for Armor. Because right now, we just need some survivability. And then next turn... I uh, probably should have attacked into the 4-2 now that I think about it. Oh well, we'll be okay. <clears throat> I think uh, what we'll probably do is, uh, if he can't finish us somehow this next turn, we can Ultimate Infestation Van Cleef, which takes away almost all of his momentum, and we'll be able to also make some trades to take out the uh, Auctioneer. He got good value, but actually he may ha deal with some exhaustion pretty soon here. Oof, that 8-8 eight, eight is not ideal for us, though. It's not what I'm trying to deal with right now. Haha. -ha. Ooh, swipe, eh? That changes things quite a bit. Uh, yeah. That's huge. That was an amazing swipe. And then Aya? That's great, too. Now we got more Jade. Some more stuff that's going to last for a bit on the board. We have cards that are going to be able to take out his 8-7, assuming they don't get sniped beforehand. But even if she does, we're going to get a 5-5 to replace the 5-3, which is great. And we have a Nourish and an Ultimate Infestation in hand, so we shouldn't have to worry about uh, ramping too much. Actually, ideally, I'd still like to take out the 8-7 with my uh, Ultimate Infestation. Valera the Hollow. That is a really good card. Is he going to be able to play a second uh, Arcane Golem now? No. Their hero power is really hard to follow, but basically it lets them, once a turn, play a card twice. Double counterfeit coin is pretty cool. It's like a like a rogue innervate. We might be in trouble against Valera, to be honest. If he gets his second uh, arcane giant, we likely will be. Oof, making an eight six kind of is a pain in my ass, but whatever. It's ultimate infestation. And we're going to trade the 4-4 four, four for it, as much as I don't want to. suppose I could have a little bit more value from using the 5-3. Um, yeah, because then I can keep the 4-4 four, four alive here. Nice! And if we want, we can innervate. There's not really a whole lot worth innervating into, except for, like, armor at the moment. Where have you been um, we could innervate into Wild Growth just to draw a card. Eh, let's not waste that Innervate. We may want to... We have another Ultimate Infestation in hand. We may want to use it for that combo. Because, you know, we have another Innervate in the deck. So maybe we'll, like, Ultimate Infestation, Innervate, Innervate... I don't know. Swipe or something. So we're going to start seeing doubles of a lot of cards now. we got to be ready every turn for his, uh, his clone. Fortunately, that clone card 
does have the full cost, so they will have to he will have to pay another five if he wants to play a second Shadow Lotus Agents. Shadow Lotus Agents? No. Sorry. Just Lotus Agents. I guess the shadow would be Death's shadow. <laughs> yeah, he is gonna go ahead and double it up. You can tell this is the copy because it's golden and his uh ability is a golden ability. If you're wondering, this was the original. I guess it would have to be considering that you can't uh, copy a card until it's been played once. What's wrong, buddy? Not getting the discover cards you were quite hoping for? And all out of preparations already? We're going to keep an eye on these treasure boxes if we're trying to track what cards are in his deck. Because, like, for example, he still has another counterfeit coin. This was the uh, extra one that was spawned. Man, this guy really likes to talk. Um, I think... Do we have a swipe? We do not have a swipe. We can ultimate infestation if we want to burn our whole hand, which I don't especially. We can Jade Spirit. Get another Jade Druid. That's pretty good. I can take out one of these Lotus Agents. I can take out the gold one. And then I can uh, drop a Fandral. That's pretty good. Keep him from having any minions as much as possible since we are somewhat low on health. Honestly, we've got it pretty much all tied up now. I'm not sure he's going to be able to power through this unless he has a crazy ass, like, well, he's probably going for, like, a, a full board of arcane giants knowing Valera, but <laughs> you never know. Unless he can do something like that, though, I'm pretty sure we've secured this pretty well. Ooh, Gadget's on Auctioneer with the hand that he's got is not great. Is he going to play a second one? He can't. He can't afford it. Okay, good. I was going to say, how greedy can one man be? Just vis double eviscerate here. Yep, eviscerate, and then he's going to copy the eviscerate. And then hero power to attack my 3-1. That's fine, he's taking some damage. Now, did he just trade his 4-4 into my 6-6? Six because six? I like that. No, of course he didn't. He can't. Summoning sickness and all that. There's the arcane giant that he's going to try and use for his uh, death shadow combos. That is going to be super annoying. We got to we gotta move things forward here. How much damage can I do this turn? 16. No, 11. Plus 5 is 16. And then I can innervate into hero power, which is lethal. Jade Druid! Knock, knock, biatch. Haha! -ha! That's why you do the math. Jade Druid is super OP, but I don't have to tell you that. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below so that I know. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.